Welcome my viewers to the Magic Behind channel. This is the channel where we teach you about electronics components and how to use those components to make working circuits. In today's video, I want us to make this seven channels LED chaser step by step. At the end of the video, I will highlight five mistakes which you need to avoid for your chaser to work properly. Before we move ahead, kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below this video. I now want to show you the components, tools and materials which we need to complete this task. We need a dotted blank circuit board. IC holders for IC number 4017 and IC number 345. We also require ICs themselves I see number 4017 and I see number 345. Electrolytic capacitor, 470 microfarads, 35 volts. Ceramic capacitor, 684 joules, 400 volts. 1 mega ohm variable resistor. 1 piece 10 kilo ohm resistor. 2 pieces 1 ohm resistors solder wire or solder, jumper wires, AC to DC rectifier, right emitting diodes, and a soldering iron. The first step is to insert the IC holders on the circuit board. now inserted my IC holders on the circuit board. Please make note of these notches. These notches on my diagram. This notch and this notch. Second step is you tilt the board at the back. You find those pins looking like spikes and you solder them individually. I have now done the soldering of the IC holder. The next step is you come to our diagram and locate pin number 6 on the big IC and the pin number 15 and you will join them. You will join those two pins by using a lead of a resistor, a piece of the lead from a resistor. Pin 6 and 15 joined. The next step is you come to the smaller IC. You locate pin number 6 and pin number 2 and you join them. Pin number 2 and pin number 6 joined. The next step is you come to the bigger IC. You locate pin number 14. You join it to the pin number 3 on the smaller IC. Pin 14 and pin number 3 joined. I've joined them using a piece of jumper wire. The next step is to make this line from here up to here. And you will make that line using a piece of jumper wire. You uncoat it, you remain with this copper wire. It's the one you will come, you stick it with solder from one corner up to where your end is. I have created that line using a copper wire. I'll do the same on this lower side. After making those two lines, this one and this one, the other one, which are here and here. The next step is you come to the bigger IC. You locate pin number 16. You join a wire up to that line. You come to the smaller IC. You locate P14. 
pin number 8 you join with a wire up to that point and the same with pin number 4 on this upper side this this will be our positive side so you can use a wire color red or even white then after joining these pins you come to the lower side you locate pin number 13 on the big ic you join it down here the same case with pin number eight and the pin number one on the smaller ic on this side you can use black jumper wire because this is our negative side i have done those connections these three positive and these three negative the next step is to insert this 10 kilo ohm resistor the variable resistor in the ceramic capacitor this is the, re the resistor those three components soldered please ensure when you insert them you need to join them just the way the diagram is showing the next step is you come to the small IC you locate pin number 7 then you join it at this junction between the resistor and the variable resistor pin number 7 all the way up to where we have the junction between the resistor and the variable resistor this one here the next step you come down here where you joined pin 6 and 2 you take a wire a jumper wire you join that junction you solder it then you extend that junction then you come you solder here this junction then you extend that junction to the third leg of the variable resistor this is where the junction of pin 6 and 2 is then I've extended that cable up to there then up to the third leg of the variable resistor the next step is to insert electrolytic capacitor this one here as you insert the electrolytic capacitor you need to note that this is a polarized capacitor polarized means it has polarities it has positive and negative so you need to be careful how you are inserting it as you can see i've indicated on my diagram this is the positive side and this is the negative side the positive side is up here this is the negative side because the, uh, the leads of the capacitor are short they cannot come all the way down I've used a jumper wire to extend from this junction all the way to the negative side down here the next step is to insert this one ohm resistor and this other one here we have inserted almost all the components after that you need to look for leads from resistors you cut and fold them like this four of them one two three four the three of those folded leads have come here 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 and here this is where the negative power terminal is and this is where the positive power in is this is the common negative output terminal join then after you insert them here you come at the back and solder them where the way they are supposed to be connected for example this one here i've connected to this resistor this one i've connected to this resistor at the back and this one I've connected to this line here. This is the negative terminal. I've connected there. 
So the other one, the fourth one, I want to show you how to connect it. You need to come to the bigger IC. You locate pin number one. In my previous videos, I've shown you how to count IC pins. And on this case, this one here, this is the pin number one. So you take your folded lead, you come and insert it here. After you have inserted it there, you come at the back, you join it or you solder it to pin number one, which is this one here. Come at the back, you do the foldering. This here is the pin pin number one here so you solder it to that to this lead then you also solder on the other side to make it firm I have done the soldering here so I take my tool or nail cutter I cut this unnecessary wrong leads our chaser is almost complete we are now left to insert the IC and put on power but before we go to the next step I want to show you how to arrange write emitting diodes I'll do that arrangement here and I, I explain to you how you are supposed to do it properly. I have now inserted my LEDs and my channel, or rather one of my channels, will have 15 LEDs. The first thing is to arrange them in series, three, three, three. You'll have five series of threes. So you arrange them three, 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 three. Let us first of all do that. I have soldered my three. One, two, three. Those are three LEDs. One, two, three. Another three. 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 So after you have done that, because this is just one channel. For today's demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate with one channel. But if you want to use more channels than one, you repeat the same process. After here, you join all the cathodes together. When you join them, then you, then you come and join your cathodes to this negative output terminal. Then you come back, you join all the anodes together. After joining, you extend that wire to this positive output terminal. When you do that, you put your ICs, then you connect to power and you test your chaser. Let us just do that. I have connected all the anodes together and connect them, uh, connected them to the positive output signal. I've connected it at the back side, but you can also connect it here on the upper side of the circuit board. Now I'll do the same with all the cathodes and I connect them here on the negative output terminal. I'll also do it at the back, but you can do it on the top side of the board. I have now connected all the cathodes together to where the negative output terminal is. 
you can arrange LEDs any shape you want as long as you know how to arrange them 3 3 or 4 4 then you join them cathodes together and anodes together if you want to do more than one channel you need to come and rotate pin number two then you will have a separate leds for that channel the same piece with the rest of the channels but uh, when you are you have more than one channel all the cathodes cathodes of all the channels are joined together as one because they are coming to this one terminal here this is where all the cathodes are joined but for anodes they are separate you'll have them separately according to the pins I now want to insert the ICs. Kindly note, take note of the notch. And the notch on the IC, they should face the same side. I've inserted both ICs. The next step is to connect power using the C to DC rectifier here. And we test whether our chaser is working. This is the positive power terminal. This is the negative power terminal. As you can see, our chaser is working. As I've told you, there are area. If you want to use more than one channel, you will follow the same process we have done. I promised to tell you the five or six common mistakes you need to avoid for your chaser to work properly. Number one is the components. You need to use the components as they are on the diagram. Number two, you need to make sure your ICs are working. There are some ICs you can buy in the shops, but they are not good. They are not working. So you try to put them here, they won't work. Number three is the LED arrangements. If you make a mistake arranging your LEDs, your chaser will definitely not work. So kindly follow what I've showed you to do. The other mistake you need to avoid is the power. If you try to come and power your circuit with 9 volt battery, it won't work. This one is specifically for AC to DC rectifier. If you don't know how to make one, I have made a video on how to make one. You can refer to it and learn how to make AC to DC rectifier. The other mistake you need to avoid is when inserting the components. There are components here which are non-polarized. That means you can put them either way, like this ceramic capacitor. Even if you put this side up and this side down, it will still work. The same case with resistors. You can put them either side, they will work. But this electrolytic capacitor and this variable resistor and the ICs, you have to put them the way they should be put. So if you put them the other way, upside down, the, your circuit will not work. The other thing is the improper connections. If you want your chaser to really work, you have to follow the diagram as it is. If you make a mistake, the chaser won't work. If you make any short circuit, your chaser you will, not, will not work. So those, those are the mistakes you need to avoid if you want your chaser to really work. Thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly make sure you subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe button below this video. Share it with friends whom you think may be interested. 
Also give this video a thumbs up and also on the comment section below ask me any question in regard to this chaser circuit or any other question in regard to electronics. Thank you so much once again. See you in my next video.